Ian Jensen, you were on the starboard side of T6 today, flying the boat and doing some trimming. Can you tell us what the objectives were for the team when you went off the dock this morning? Yeah, I mean, it was a, a light day. Um, so we, we put up a new J1 and had a look at that sail and um, still learning about the new foil a little bit, so trying some takeoffs and other things like that. Um, tell me a little bit about the conditions that you saw out there today. What, what, what was the kind of maximum minimum wind strengths? It was probably like 7 to 12 knots, I'd say, most of the day. It was pretty flat water as well. Is that, is that ideal conditions for you, or is it you just take what you've got for these testing sessions? Yeah, I mean, in these boats, uh, flat conditions make it a, a lot easier, um, but um, it's not what you'll get in Barcelona, so it's, it's, it's very nice to go sailing on a nice flat day. But Understood. Now, on other days, we've seen very long um, straight line stretches today. We seem to see short stretches, lots of tacks, lots of jibes. Were you trying to get data about both those manoeuvres? Uh, yeah, I think um, e e every day there's a, a little bit of an element of upskilling the crew as well. So we, we like to, with, their, with as well as the engineering tests, we always like to throw in a few manoeuvres to, to make sure that um, the skill levels come out at the same time. We saw on one um, one tack you were raising and lowering the the new w foil about 18 or 19 times i counted maybe, maybe it was 20. what was that all about uh just just gaining some data for the designers really just um see, looking at the drops i guess one thing that struck me today when i was watching you um changing headsails was that there's a lot of technology on these boats an immense amount of technology but we still got telltales on, on the jib. How, how much of a role do, do telltales play on the sails? How much do you look at them when you're sailing? Uh, the same as any boat, really. You're, you're always looking for stall, especially when you... These boats have got such a big range of apparent wind angles and speed, um, so they're very important still. When you're flying the boat, can you give us some idea of what it is you're looking at? Where are you gathering your data from? On, on, on what data is important to you? You spend, uh, obviously, you spend a lot of time looking at the foil and, and maybe looking ahead a little bit to see, see what, what's coming ahead of you, but a lot of times so looking at the foil when you're flying. Literally looking at the foil or looking at instrumentation that tells you about the foil? Uh, looking at the foil for us, yeah. Okay. I saw you doing that actually today, particularly on, on the W foil. Is there anything about that foil that, that you're looking at differently to the other foil? No, very, very similar, just same sort of talk, just trying to hit a target basically. Yeah. Target ride height. Okay, so more of um, more of this sort of sailing this week. Uh, hopefully, yeah. The forecast is looking very good this week, and um, hopefully, get out there a few more days. Fantastic, Ian. Thanks for sharing that with us. No worries.